Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos, reviews and features and hit the bell icon so you know when we have a new video ready for you. Now, premium gaming laptops in India have usually commanded a high premium compared to other countries. So when we heard about the Acer VX15 going for under 90,000 rupees, it certainly piqued our interest. Let's see what you get for your money. There's no mistaking the VX15 for anything other than a gaming laptop. Thanks to its aggressive design and red trimmed exhaust vents around the back that mimic the back of a sports car. Thankfully, Acer hasn't gone overboard and lit up the entire thing in LEDs. So apart from the keyboard, it still looks quite subtle. There are red reflective strips adorning either side of the logo on the textured lid, which offers good protection for the display with little flex. The VX15 isn't excessively bulky, but it does feel quite heavy at 2.5 kilograms. The 15.6-inch IPS display is sharp, but the colors aren't very punchy, which makes it look a little bland. Maximum brightness levels also feel a bit less. Viewing angles are good though, and the matte finish keeps unwanted reflections at bay. The plastic base is built well, and there isn't much flex around the palm rest area or the keyboard. The island-style keys are responsive for typing and aren't too noisy. You also get a full-size number pad. The large trackpad offers smooth tracking, and Windows 10 gestures work well. There's a usual suite of physical ports like USB 3.0, HDMI, LAN, as well as a USB Type-C port. Acer has placed status LEDs for the battery, power, and hard drive activity facing the front. The dual speakers also face forward, so they're rarely obstructed even when used on your lap. Powering the laptop is an Intel Core i7-7700HQ CPU, 8GB of RAM, 128GB SSD, and a 1TB hard drive. Graphics is handled by the 4GB variant of NVIDIA's GTX 1050 GPU. Acer ships the laptop with Windows 10 Home 64-bit along with its accompanying software like Care Center and its BYOC apps for remotely accessing your files. The Acer Collection Universal app simply gives you a list of curated apps from the Windows Store. The highlight here, of course, is gaming, which it handles very well. We were able to play most of the latest games with nearly maxed out settings at 1080p with smooth frame rates. We had to dial down some of the settings in games like Rise of the Tomb Raider and Deus Ex Mankind Divided, but managed to max out most of the settings in games like Far Cry 4 and Doom without compromising on frame rates. Boot times is very good thanks to the SSD. However, you won't be able to squeeze in too many games here due to the limited space. Thankfully, you do get a 1TB mechanical hard drive. However, it's a standard variety and not the faster 7200 RPM type. The red backlighting of the keys can only be toggled on or off as there aren't any other levels to choose from or any ways to change the color. The VX15 also manages to run fairly cool and silently during our gaming sessions. The dual fan exhaust works fairly well, however, the key cluster to the right of the trackpad does get quite hot. Thankfully, the heat is not felt around the palm rest area or the left side of the keyboard which you typically end up using when gaming. The base of the laptop does get a bit warm during gaming, but nothing too alarming. Sadly, there isn't any convenient way to swap out the RAM or the hard drive without opening the entire base of the laptop. Audio from the speakers is loud, mostly due to the Dolby app which helps boost the frequencies. The HD webcam also supports face recognition, but the image quality isn't very good as the picture is fairly noisy even in well-lit rooms. Wi-Fi reception is good as you get 802.11 AC support along with 2x2 multi-user MIMO antennas. In terms of battery life, you shouldn't really be expecting too much. With moderate usage, which didn't include gaming, we were able to get around 4.5 to 5 hours, which is little below average. The Aspire VX15 might not be the most feature-rich gaming laptop, but for the asking price, it's a pretty good deal. The hardware inside will easily handle most existing games with little compromise, with some legroom for future titles too. We would have preferred punchier colors from the display, better battery life, and a better quality webcam. But all things considered, the Aspire VX15 offers good value if gaming is your only priority. So thanks for watching our review. Be sure to check out more videos right here. And give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.